This is a high-tech, modern, royal hair spindle. It's on ball bearings, has a base, and fits in. It's the exact opposite of the Tockley, which is very, very ancient. But the spinning is the same. You're going to spin from the point. You're going to build your cop at the bottom. I have a leader. I'm going to wind it up. I can lead out a little bit. Now I'm going to add twist. This just sits on the table, so it's very easy. Then I can draft out a little bit. I'll keep adding twist. This you don't have to support. It doesn't fall over like the Tockley. Keep adding twist. Drafting ahead with the cotton. I don't know if you can see this. Probably shouldn't have on a light colored shirt. Now I'm going to need a lot more twist in this. This is not as fast as the Tockley. So I'm just going to let it twist and twist. One more. Now I'm ready to wind on. And I just wind it on, spiral it up the shaft, and here I go again. Again, it's not as fast as the Tockley. I'm doing cotton. It's very good for dog hair, cashmere, kiviat, other very short, fine fibers. It's also good for wool. Because it's a supported spindle, you can spin very fine. Cotton takes a lot more twist than you think. Now this, I'm kind of tugging on it and you can see it's ready. I'm going to wind it on. One thing about cotton, you always need to remember there's a right end and a wrong end to your sliver. If it's not drafting out, you've got the wrong end. Let's do more spinning on the royal hair. A good thumb motion, and it goes. This works better if it's sitting on a hard, flat, very sturdy surface. You can do it uh, sitting it on your knee, and I've done it, but it spins much slower that way. I've been working the spindle with my right hand, giving it a twist away from me holding the fiber in the left hand, drafting with my left hand, and pinching with both hands. What if you want to spin left-handed? No problem. But instead of spinning away from you, as you see that unwinds, you're going to twist toward you. See how it's going to wind the yarn on? Now I'm not as good at this. Everything will just be backwards. Then you'll hold the fiber in your right hand, again, twist toward you, pinch, draft, spin off the tip the same way, pinch and draft. Just exactly the opposite. This is called spinning in the Z direction, and it's what? It's the way most yarns are spun the first time. Then you ply in the S direction. I'm going to use some yellow wool that I pre-drafted and I go into that on my fiber preparation video. So I'm not going to go into any details now. But it has been pre-drafted. I need to get it out of my way, so I'm going to hook it on to a wrist distaff. I'm going to wrap this around. That keeps it out of the way, and then you can unwrap it to get what you need. To get started, I'm going to overlap, spiral up, and I'm going to spin off the tip of the spindle. I'm going to draft out a little bit more. I think you can see I've got a good couple inches Give it a good twist and let it start getting the, the, the twist in. Now wool does not draft out as easily as cotton. So you can use your hands to draft it out. Now I'm just gonna I'm not gonna worry about this. This is my join, and I'm joining wool to cotton, so I'm not gonna worry about it at all. Spiral it up. 
give it a good twist. And again, if I hold this to the side, it's going to wrap around the spindle instead of spinning off the tip. Off the tip, adding twist. This is not as fast as the Tockley. Now you can see I'm pinching off. The twist is accumulating in here. And you can see how it's, it's twisting. But I'm pinching off. I don't want the twist to get into this roving. Now I'm going to pinch here, hold the twist, draft back a little bit, repinch, and let the twist in. Do it again. Pinch off, draft back a little bit, let the pinch in. Now I'll add a little bit more twist. Again, coming off the tip of the Tockley. I mean this, the royal hair. Wind it on and start again. As you get used to it, you'll be able to spin and draft much like a, a drop spindle or a suspended spindle. Pinch off the twist, pinch off, pinch off, draft back, pinch off. Pinch off, draft back, pinch off and left the twist in. Then wind it on. What do you do when your cop is full? This one isn't, but we're going to pretend it is. When your cop is full and you want to take the yarn off the spindle, it's very easy. You just pull straight up and you can make a ball. Now this is the dog hair, so it's a little bit sticky. Or, if you want a nice long, long skein of yarn, Cops on these little spindles don't really hold too much. And if you want five or six hundred yards for a big project, you do what I call spinning on. Now this is some blue wool from another spindle. And another way to store the yarn is to wind it on. This is a, a cardboard tube from toilet paper or paper towels. Wind the yarn onto the tubing. You can also wind the yarn around, I have a little uh, felt ball, and for cotton this is especially good, a very fine fibers, wind the yarn around that little ball. You can also use a tennis ball, just don't let the dog find out. But if you want a longer bunch of fiber, you'll spin on. Take the end from your tube or your other ball storage, overlap, you may, if, if you've spun all the way down to the end, you may have to add a little bit more fiber. Pick out a little bit more fiber and put on. And spin. Now I'm just spinning this dog hair onto the wool. Now I'm ready to continue winding this on 